One of the most common questions for foot manager on PS5 and Xbox is how do I sell a player? So I'll show you today how you can sell a player from your team, a player maybe you don't want anymore. Maybe that player's getting a bit old or they're not good enough or you need to raise a bit of money to replace them. Sell them. I'm gonna show you how to sell them right now. So here we are, I'm back with Manchester City. I'm just gonna show you how we go about making that sale. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna need the player that we're gonna sell. So let's go across to our squad. I'm gonna select it here. And let's say we wanna sell Bernardo Silva. What we're gonna do is press the action button. You can see it's just over here. We're gonna get a list of options right above my head here. I'm gonna come down to transfer. We're gonna click that. We've got two options here. We're gonna add them to the unwanted list. It's gonna get the director of football to try and sell them. You can say how much you want to sell them for, the value or the perceived value that they currently are the asking price that you set, half value, any price, which is basically you want to get rid of them, or several releases, you really want to get rid of them, you just need them out of your team. Maybe you probably don't want to do this if you're a big club, but maybe you're a small club, you just want to get them off the books, set the sell or release. You can choose it this way, or you can go to offer to clubs and you can offer it directly to players. Maybe you need a quicker sell. Again, you can do this and you can say how much you want to sell them for. So you can unspecified, you can offer them out for any unspecified amount. This isn't adding them to the transfer list. You're gonna to have to tick the little button that is at the bottom here if you want to also add them to the transfer list when you do this, but you can offer them out for however much. Right now you can see Bernardo Silva's value is around 112 million, so he's worth quite a lot. Not many teams are gonna be able to afford him, but maybe if I say, oh, I'm willing to sell him for, let's go for 50 million. I can also use the right stick here to move along, but let's go, let's go 60 million. I reckon someone will bid on 60 million. You press Y and that is gonna offer him out to some clubs. And we've trans transfer listed him because we pressed that button. Now there is a second way of doing this as well. I'm gonna show you Riyad Mahrez here. If I come into his profile and I move across to the transfer tab, you can see there are some options here. So what you can do is you come down to transfer status. You can add him to the transfer list. So that means you're not actually offering him to the clubs. You're just telling clubs that he is available if they want to come and get him. You can also set him to the loan list if you want, or you can set them to the unavailable for loan so no one can make a bid or they're automatically rejected. You can set the amount that you're looking for or the value that you're looking for. Let's say 50 million. Again, that's what we just offered him out at. And you can say we'll respond to it to ourselves, or you can just automatically set it to deal with the transfers for you. Maybe you want it to reject all offers as well that are below a certain amount, so offers below or equal to the asking price or below the asking price, or you can just say you are gonna respond yourself. And if I just move my head out of the way here, you can also see you can set the director of football to do some stuff here. So if you want to sell at any price or sell a release, you can also put them to the development list. The development list is particularly useful for younger players. I'm not sure he will go on. Beard Mars isn't normally an option, but you can add them to the development list and they will try and loan them out to other clubs to get better. So let's put uh, confirm on Riyad Mahrez. Let's see if we get any offers for Mahrez or Silva. A few moments later. So I've come back and I've seen I've got two offers in here for Bernardo Silva. One at 60 million, which is how much we were asking for. And one at 45 million from PSG, which is less than what we were asking for. But they might have extra conditions there. So we go into the PSG offer and we can see, okay, they've offered 40 million, 45 million. It's not as much as we want. We can come back out of this. We can go back to the Real Madrid offer and let's click and have a look at that one. That is 60 million, but we can add some extra causes to that. So if you want, you can add to say, oh, I want X amount of money if he makes a certain number of league appearances or extra money if he makes a certain number of international games or extra money if he scores a number of goals for the team. You can ask for an exchange of player. You can add loan back lengths. You can add all kinds of little things. Percentage of profit for next sale is particularly good with younger players. Buyback price if it's a player you think might turn out well, but you're not sure and you just want to get them out of the team for a little bit. But in the future, you want the option to be able to buy them back. Buyback price is pretty good. Selling team wage contribution is you are going to actually get an offer to pay some of his wages. It can be useful if you've got someone on a really high wage that no one else can really afford and you need just need to get them somewhat off the books. I don't tend to use that one myself, but maybe, you know, you really need to reduce that wage budget and you haven't got many other options. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna go and we're gonna accept the offer from Real Madrid. What we can do is we can give an ultimatum to PSG here. So we can tick that button, accept and give ultimatums. They have to match that 60 million pound bid now or better it if they also want a, an offer. So we've negotiated with PSG here. We'll see if they come back and offer better. I need you to give me some money. Okay. okay, just our luck, Bernardo Silva has actually just got injured for two to five weeks, which could mean that he fails any medical if he tries to transfer, but we'll see what happens. We'll leave him to the physio and, and see if he actually makes it through a medical. Sometimes you might get offers that don't necessarily match what you asked for. So Mares here, we put him on the transfer list. Spurs have come in and said that they want to loan him in. They're gonna, they're gonna say how much they're gonna play him. So they're gonna play him as an important player. If you wanna develop your younger players, make sure you get them on agreed playing time to at least regular starter or, or an important player. Maybe if they're 
averaging around good around team, you can set them to uh, at least an impact sub or something. You can set whether you can recall the loan, and you can say how much they're gonna pay in the fee, in the wages, etc. Right now, Spurs aren't offering any wages, so it's not very good, but my director of football, because I left it in the hands of my director of football, he is doing it for me, you can see just here. PSG decided not to follow up on Bernardo Silva. Cheap, cheap, cheap. <laughs> Chelsea have also made an offer to loan Mahrez. It's identical to the Spurs one. So, it's come back to my inbox. The Mahrez deal has been confirmed, and because the director of football is in charge, he has actually confirmed the deal, so I'm not even gonna get an option to whether I want to do this or not. So Mahrez has gone off to Chelsea. Bye-bye. As an example, if someone comes in to make an offer for one of your players, Coventry have made an offer to loan Cole Palmer, and I can accept or reject this or negotiate it if I wish I can come in and ask them, for example, I mentioned that they're actually gonna play him as an important player, which is what we want. Maybe I want 20% of his wages to be paid. We can come in and we can negotiate that. And they want to pay a little bit less of a fee if that is the case, but we can accept that. So the Bernardo Silva deal is ready to be completed. You can see here it's agreed to join Real Madrid. I'll get 60 million into my transfer budget if I accept this by pressing the Y or the triangle button. So we're gonna accept it and you will see Bernardo Silva will be moved off to Real Madrid. So there we go, Bernardo Silva has moved to Real Madrid. That is how you make a sale in the console version of Football Manager if you want to sell a player, you want to get rid of any player. If you need some further help with the console version, I've got a whole load of tutorials here, which I'll be updating and adding more as we go.